Hey, we, we, uh, um, I don't see a shooting that way uh, very often, like hardly ever. And it was not a good day for us offensively at all. I'd love to tell you that I think it was a lot of their length. When we didn't make the next pass, uh, it was their length. And, and sometimes when we settled, it was their length. But every time we moved and cut without the ball, something good happened for us. And, and we, we lost this game. Uh, the defensive part where we lost it, we didn't get up into the ball enough. Whether it was a switch, whether it was over the screen, whatever the coverage was. And Mitchell got hot. He's a really nice young man. We recruited him. I, I hope for his sake and their sake that he continues to play like that because obviously he played a little different than he's played as of late. And it goes to show you can be in a slump at a certain point in time and you bust out. And I hope he plays great for them. Um, but we've got some of the same type of guys. They had a tough day, uh, and I've got great belief that we will recover from that. And um, again, when, when we didn't make the next pass, or when we tried to dribble you know, the ball in front of our body against the length, we got rushed, that's when we didn't make shots. But we had so many open shots we missed. And, and um, that's tough for us. And then we didn't make some of the free throws. Turnovers in the first half were obviously an issue, but we didn't we didn't do that in the second half. The defensive issues we just weren't active enough, and and we didn't get enough hands on balls. It's our lowest deflection night of 37. Uh, we weren't nearly as good at, at that as we needed to be, and and certainly we don't have their length, but we need to have that kind of activity. And there were times that we didn't get that done. I, I think when we did switch, we weren't active enough getting up into the ball. Um, when we when we stayed with our man to get over the screen, we weren't active enough on the ball. And uh, they got hot. They saw some things and they got hot. Um, we battled hard on the glass. There's no question about that. Um, our decision making at times has been an Achilles heel for us. It was again today. Uh, when you've got a team like that that, that, uh, that has that kind of length and switches so much, you've got to keep finding what the game is giving you. Um, and there were times it was giving us different things. But offensively, we are, a, we are not only a ball movement team, we are a cutting team. We are a moving team. And we've got some guys that, that are not very good at moving without the ball. And we tried to put some things in for them that would get them to move uh, uh, conceptually. Um, but most importantly, when we're playing our best is when we're randomly cutting. And we didn't get enough of that today. And, and that's the disappointing part because that was a huge part of our plan. As far as attacking the rim and driving it to make the next pass, not trying to shoot it on the shot blockers, I thought we did a pretty good job on that. Um, but we missed too many threes, we missed too many layups, we missed too many one-foot jump hooks, and um, it hurt us. But, uh, but my team did not stop coming back to play. We didn't play as aggressively nearly as, as we needed to on defense when it came to the, to the uh, getting up into the ball, like I said. But um, uh, I'm looking forward to going back to work with them tomorrow. I really am. Because we got a great group of guys. And they're surrounded by a great group of coaches and leaders in that locker room with our people. And, and um, um, we'll just continue to, to work and get better. I have no doubt about it. Tom, is, it, is this team at like something of a crossroads at this moment? Or, or is that some dramatic that, Yeah, I think, that's, I think that's pretty drama-filled right there. Not that you would be. I know no, you wouldn't no. be. No, I know. No, it's, it's, uh, we, just, we just lost to a really good team. We didn't play well the other night. Now, I don't, uh, don't think about the crossroads. What's the name of all the countdown classic we were in? No, we're not in that. We, we didn't shoot well. I mean, you're not going to see Rob Johnson go 1 of 13 too many nights. And, and, um, and we just didn't, um, it, we missed too many shots. So my biggest thing, I don't want them trying too hard. I mean, we got a group of guys who will be back in the gym and, and trying to work their way out of it. That, there's a time and a place for that. So we haven't had a good week. But... Um, a lot more open shots tonight than we got the other night. We just didn't knock them down. And and uh, but again, it comes to me that we just didn't we didn't move as well. And when we move without the ball, you know, <laughs> we were good, but we didn't have enough. Time. Tom, you, you mentioned that I guess working to kind of get out of their shooting funk. Do you worry guys work too hard? Sure, I just said that. Yeah, absolutely. I just, we don't want we don't want that. I mean, it. Uh, we got some. Um, We've had a couple guys, now here's a good crossroads, we had a couple guys two weeks ago that needed to get back into a situation where they were working harder in the gym on their own. Uh, but it isn't any of the guys that were, that had tough days today. So, no, we don't need to overwork, we just need to be confident. And, and but, you know, you think when you rebound like that, and, um, but, really in a nutshell, where we're at the crossroads, Bob, you got that in my head, where we're at the crossroads is this.
we got to help. Here's, this is really what it comes down to. When we're not shooting the ball well, okay, we have got to outgrow quickly, all right, not playing as well as we need to play on defense. Mm -hmm. Now that's, we've got, that, if, if, we, if there's a common theme, we might have been better today, but we still lost the game by a margin. All right, if there's a common theme and when we struggle, it's when our shooting is not where it needs to be and we don't, we don't continue to come down there and just bust out those stops. And that's what we've got to, that's what we've got to, that, that's the tipping point right there. We've got to get that fixed. Um, how, how Makes sense, Bob? Makes sense. Yeah, I, I did not want you not being able to use that crossroads term in your column. I was going to get in there anyway. I figured you would. Yeah. I want to at least have a hand in it. <laughs> so how important was it for Duran to just kind of see a team like this, kind of go against a physical team like that, and just kind of have, how big was that for his development? Good, very good, very good. And, and again, um, he missed a lot of close shots. I mean, we've just got to finish better. Um, but he worked hard. I mean, he's been getting better and better in practice. He's not even close to being where he's going to be athletically, and, and he's not healthy. I mean, I'm not going to come in here and talk about our injury situation because you don't want to hear it, and, it, and, and it's not. We, we got a lot of guys banged up. He's one of them too, but, but, but we still got to make shots in the lane, right? We still got to be able to make open threes, and we didn't do enough of that. But he played really hard, and it'll be good for him moving forward. Tom, what did you do well in the second half? Obviously, you can only, I think you only had three second half turnovers. What turned that around? I got. I don't know. You know, it, 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 we just kept looking at what the game was. Our turnovers at the beginning of the game were ridiculous. I mean, they weren't even forced, right? The, the number one problem. I say this every time that it's not a. I'm never going to overreact to the hard driving. We're trying to make a play turnover. It's the unforced turnovers, which are the mental errors that really bother you. And we had too many of those to start the game. And um, we settled in a little bit. But, but our spacing was better. And um, they decided to come out and guard those guys when they pulled away from the basket. We, we stopped screening as much, which we knew at some point in time we were going to probably do. You know, We never got Snyder the way they did a good job of keeping him isolated, where, I mean, where we couldn't isolate him. Because a big part of our game plan was to absolutely go by him every chance that we could. And um, we weren't able to really do that. And um, they did a good job of protecting that. Um, but um, I don't know. It seems like some of those shots would have felt like turnovers. But I've got to watch it for them. Coach, it seemed like there was you know, a lot of dribbling and getting late into the shot clock. A lot. Yeah, was that their we were making the cuts. You know, we weren't cutting off the post. It, it, it's, um, that's where we got out of character. You know, our offense is movement. And it's not just the ball moving, it's the body moving. It's getting lost in the game. Yeah, and that's when we struggled with shooting. That's when their length look, oh, wow, they're long, right? And we're not a dribble team, right? We need to be a driving team. That's why we have we knew that, that handling the ball was going to be a potential issue on this team. That's why we spend so much time making sure that the forwards, we, you know, we lost guys last year that, that, that didn't try to overhandle, and we lost an incredible ball handler, right? And, and we knew that we needed a team of guys that could move the ball on this team. And that they also have to move without the ball. But uh, we've that that um, we're going to find that film. We're going to find that film where our over dribbles came because somebody didn't cut when they were open, especially when the court was spread. Somebody didn't dribble into a handoff. When you're over being overplayed, we work on it every day. Back cut. Okay. If they're overplaying you, you back cut. If they're under you, get a handoff or a screen. And um, we had some real slippage on that tonight. And I think that it made us look worse with the handle. Go ahead, Jeff. I can hear you. You, you mentioned uh, decision making kind of in a little bit of his deal. And then you just mentioned you, know, you don't have that one guy, you know, you just say, you know, hey, just get the ball to him. How, how do you get the decision making fixed when it's got to be kind of a, a group of guys? Well, it just, it's that, it's what it is. I mean, it's, it's not like we're in a situation where we're just going to say these one or two guys are running this club. Right, so that's where the movement, you know, it's not like I didn't know this was coming in the sense of it's not like it was going to be one or two guys that just operate and dictate your team. That's not their mentality. Right. And, and there's, there's a real pulse of the game that goes into that. There's a real, uh, you, you, you've, the best, where Yogi really got so much better is Yogi could move without the ball, right? And, and it, we spend a lot of time at it, but in the, when, when the slippage, when the lights are on and it's, Pressure moments, that's when you got to be at your best at it. So, um, Jawan was up there, did a pretty good job. But there were certain times we just left each other hanging, and it wasn't about the screen. 
It was about the cut. When you saw what happened when we cut, we were pretty good at it. But we, and, and too much of that was um, having to be orchestrated rather than just the random way that we play. So we've got to get, I've got to do a better job with that somehow, or I've got to move people around. And then the guys that are really struggling to move without the ball, I've got to, I've got to put more stuff that, that they just have to move without it. Because last year it was so natural, right? Colin, Troy, those guys. And, and we, but we've done it this year. And we've had good days where we've really moved without the ball. Well, today wasn't one of them. Tom, uh, Tom has missed a couple at the rim. And, and in general, kind of his two-point finishing is, yeah. is, is down a little bit. Is there anything you can pinpoint with that? Is it focus? Is it maybe him getting a little more attention? It's, it's no, it's not the attention. Uh, it, the attention comes when you over dribble the nose. Um, it's not making the move quick enough. It is the ball behind him on his first dribble. Okay, which 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 you want to crab dribble, which you want in the middle of your body, and sometimes a slippage of that, and and it, it's he's opening his chest, and we we've, we've been working on that, and he kind of went back to it a little bit today. Instead of putting your shoulder in the defender's chest sternum, you open your chest, and it opens you up, and then you don't have as much control on the ball, and it allows the shot blocker or the defender to be able to put more to be able to put get more length. You know, when you're playing against people that like to block shots, you got to go right through their chest. You know, we wanted to go right through them at times, and there were times he opened up on that. So, it's stuff he's gotten better at. He's had some success with it. There's no question we got to continue to break that down more and more for, for him. And um, and then the bottom line is is he's got to jump. Now he's got to jump. I mean, you just got to pop that ball and jump. And when you're opening up your chest, you're not nearly in as good a position to jump. I jump with it for it. Make sense. Thank you. Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you.